Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Leviticus chapter 20 verses 7 and 8 and verse 26. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day of life. Thank you dear Lord for waking us up this morning. Thank you for being merciful unto each and every one of us. That your love and your grace is what keeps us. Because we know that we all have this life. Every single person, even enemies towards you have this life. Because of your love and your mercy. And the grace that you have given us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving us that maximum permissible time to get right with you before the day of judgment or before the day we are taken off the face of this earth. Dear Lord, I just pray that we don't forget to um, remember that this life is for a purpose, and the purpose is to do your good, acceptable, perfect, and holy will. Dear Lord, I just pray that you keep us faithful in this thing, because what is the point of going against you if we know that the end of it will be damnation it makes no it makes no sense but as you have given us wisdom and knowledge of who you are and we know that you are god almighty i just pray also that you keep us in your word keep us faithful unto you as you have taught us through our lord jesus christ lord each and every morning when we partake in your word as always i pray that we're not just reading it but we actually reverence in knowing that this is the word of God and that we ought to be learning from these things. And learning means to put it into practice, not just to know it, but to be doers of your word. And we pray by the power of your Holy Spirit that you continue to lead us in the way of truth, in the way of righteousness, so that we may forever please you with this mortal life. Lord, as always, I just pray for our brothers and sisters in the faith, those especially who are going through persecution, affliction, anguishes, or any such thing, dear Lord, breathe. I just pray that you help and bear us up all, dear Lord, and um, in the day that we, those who are at peace at the moment, according to the flesh, we pray that in the day that when we do face these similar things, persecutions, etc., that we also hold fast to the faith and that we are not moved or easily taken away from the faith. Lord, I pray that you help our children also and give us a discerning mind, dear Lord, that we know how to navigate because we, we, we know that the world has set up a lot of things to let the children view the world as fun but those who ex those who uh, yeah, execute judgment over them in righteousness they view them as maybe boring or mean or anything like that we know that is set up like that but give us discernment dear lord how to navigate how we can help the children to be grown up in the way of truth dear lord in all discipline in all judgment and in all love, so that when they are of age, they shall not depart from it. And yes, Lord, edify us this morning. Lead me by your Holy Spirit, in spirit and in truth. Let everything that proceeds of my, my mouth be according to your word. So we thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Okay, so Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7 and 8 says, Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. And verse 26 says, And ye shall be holy unto me, and I the Lord, for I the Lord. Sorry, let's just read it again. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people that ye should be mine 
cool. All right. Be ye holy. So this chapter here was um continuing like what the Lord was giving the statutes, right? He was giving the statutes and the law to Moses to give to the people of Israel. And we know the people of Israel were the chosen people um in the generation to that the Lord our God had set apart for his for his pleasure, right? Um they were in the land of Egypt and the Lord delivered them by a mighty hand and by his servant Moses, right? But in delivering them, when he did set them out, he take them out, he did charge them um, in so much that he gave them commandment to keep, commandments, ordinances and statutes to keep, right? So this chapter kind of kind of spun on to give some other um some other of some other statutes yeah statutes and, and commandments there right and to be honest quite a bit of it was to do with sexual immorality right the adulterer the fornicator the homosexual the it's just a lot of sexual immorality, right? He was giving um, the law against those things, right? Um, and he also was giving the law about following after those ones with familiar spirits, wizards, um, and those who worship Molech, which was a false god, right? So that's just a summary of the whole chapter. But there's two accounts in the chapter there, what we just read, verses 7 and 8 and verse 26, when the Lord told us what we ought to do and ought to be, right? He said, sanctify yourself, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God, right? And um, sanctification, right, is... To set apart, right? To make to 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 be holy, right? It's a it's a process of setting apart to be separate from, right? And um, if we think about it, we now in the, this day and age. So if we look back in the day, Israel was set apart. They were taken, a chosen people, taken out from the other people of the world, and they were set apart right they were taken and set apart from everybody else to do the work of god which was to honor him to praise him and to worship him right to be vessels and instruments of righteousness by the lord or god and for the lord or god right so verse 8 said and ye shall keep my statutes and do them i am the lord which sanctifies you so in 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 sense it, he is actually telling you how to set apart yourself right and that is by keeping his his statutes right the law and statutes right so we might think that it's something impossible to do it's not right because through god all things are possible and he has made a way to, for us to get right with him and that is through our lord jesus christ right which we know today right because he has come he has sanctified himself in so much that he was the the end he was the vessel with the full and full um leading right encompassing of the holy spirit Likewise, we, when we give ourselves over to our Lord Jesus Christ, we unwalk like him, right? We also are making ourselves instruments of righteousness by sanctifying ourselves. We're separating from the world. That is what we separate from in this day and age. And we are following after Jesus Christ, the statutes and the law that he has fulfilled, right? So we don't go to the law according to the letter, as in the old days when it first was given, 
we go to Jesus Christ who has fulfilled all things and we through him will also fulfill all things. Right? So the Lord is telling you straight up, you have to sanctify yourself. You have to be holy because he is God and he is holy. Right? He doesn't want any profane thing to worship him or to be for his right yes if it is come if it comes to him profane he is able to wash and clean it but there is something that we ought to be doing also we have to be, be separating ourselves and keeping ourselves separate from those things which are distasteful or um, abominable unto our god and that is things that are nests nested or yeah are vested in sin right <laughs> So, verse 26 there just went on again. As I said, the verses in between this was literally just speaking about the punishments of sexual immorality. And that is in every way, shape or form. I know some people just limit sexual immorality to, um, to like homosexuality or things like that. It is the whole, it's everything outside of the marriage of one man and one woman in the in the name in 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 the lord right oh so sexually let me give it again sexual sexual immorality is any relations of a sexual manner outside of the marriage of one man and one woman in the lord right the two become one flesh Right, so just to clear that up. Um, and verse 26 said, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people that you should be mine. So that's exactly what we just summed up not too long ago, where God himself has separated us unto himself, a chosen people. And we know in this day and age, the chosen ones of God are those... Uh, um, those who are the body of Christ, the church, right? We are that separate, separated or severed people. And if we are severed and separate from the world, because we know that the world now is everything outside of God, then we ought to be holy. And being holy is, as I said, following after the statutes and the laws and the commands and this is of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has fulfilled all things, right? He has given us law, um, statutes, commands, right? He has given us that royal law, which is to love each other as he has taught us and shown us, right? So he has fulfilled all things and done this. And because of this, if we continue in his teachings, in his ways, in his life, according to his word, being led by his Holy Spirit, then we shall be separate. We shall be severed from the world, right? And um, he wants this because he said we are his. We are Christ's if we do what he told us to do, right? As we, I gave this example the other day, you can't have a master and um, you are the servant and you never obey him. Then you're not, you're not, his, you're not his servant, are you? You are his enemy most likely right or a disobedient servant who is going to be put away right so yeah we are his if we continue in what he says and he has told us to be holy separate from the world and this is something that we have to really look to each and every day because the world is easy it can easily ensnare us right one thing i was listening to yesterday was in first corinthians and it says he who stands let him and i'm paraphrasing here he who stands make make him be mindful where he stands lest he fall right so yeah i'll leave it at that this morning really but yeah it's just speaking about being holy and separate unto god right and um yeah we do this through our lord jesus christ who has taught us 
so have a good day everyone any questions at all anything that you want to send in send into the word at each reach one.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a good day everyone and god's willing we will come again together tomorrow morning